Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today uh, we're going to be reacting to uh, Ricegum new video about his experience with KSI. Uh, we all know that lately they are, they, they've been like, you know, beefing a lot back and forth. Uh, KSI said that Ricegum diss him in the song. Uh, saying that uh, Raska makes better met makes better music than him, uh, so KSI responded on this video. So now today we're gonna I should have reacted to that one actually, but I I don't know I completely got over it. I just watched it instead. Uh, but today we're gonna be reacting to Raska is the response. So the video came out like yesterday while I was sleeping, so I didn't have a chance to react to. So today we're gonna see what my boy saying. So before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below to any other video guys want me to react to and also let me know who you think is on the right, who you got, or I don't know, how, what's the outcome of this basically. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's me again. I have been avoiding this video, I've been pushing it back, you know, I didn't really feel like doing it. Me and him used to be friends, it's really not that serious, but he's been non-stop just taking shots at me. Posting videos, tweeting at me, bro. It's about to go down. It's true, though. KSI literally, uh, he has a picture on his header with um, with, with Rich the Kid, and KSI uh, literally dropped a song which with Rich the Kid and AJ Tracy. And you know, KSI took that picture and posted on his timeline, like showing Ricegum that he did a video. I saw this on Twitter as well, and yeah, he's he's. He's basically, yeah, his PSI is basically taking shots at him and also using uh, Abby in the Sidemen video. Like, he's literally crazy. You wanna play that game? Drops a 28 minute video about me. It took me the longest to get around to finally watch it, but I did. And there's really nothing even in there. So, we're gonna break it down. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, we're gonna jump around. The most important thing, bro, first off, I always knew you were ugly, but I didn't know you were a liar. <laughs> ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay. We made a song together that did like really good and before he dropped it he asked me, Rice, how should we split the money? And I actually said this in like this interview clip and then KSI reacted to it. Listen to this. He was like, yo, how should we split the earnings? Like should I pay you? I just straight up said, nah, it's cool, I'll just keep it, man. Like I don't even want anything. Just in the future, just give me a feature, you know, back. Alright, Rice Gum, you, you do know you're chatting shit. So with the split, I'm not too sure what the percentage was, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was 50-50. And you got ah! paid. You got paid for the track. I think <laughs> he got this new laugh that he's literally so annoying. I don't know why. You're getting paid for the track. You never said, nah, it's cool. I paid you money. You never said in the future, just give me ah! <laughs> This laugh, oh my god. I didn't make a cent off that song. Whoa, this dude is a liar? Whoa. Guys, when rappers do features for other people, they always get paid or some type of conversation. I was a good friend. I wanted to be a good friend, so I was like, yo, bro, you know, it's all good. Just keep it. You know, it's fine. I said that. And how do you go lie and try to make me look like I was being a good friend? Look, I don't even want the money, but I've never got paid. I, I don't ever want it. I'm just saying I never got paid. I have the receipts. What are you talking about? Homie KSI. Okay, shit. show up the receipt. To okay. Reply to this boss. Look at this email screenshot. Lewis Rebecca. Keep that in mind. I'm I'm switching cameras. All right, I'm on my email. I'm typing in Rebecca, right? That he said, click on Rebecca. KSI Future Race Cup Earthquake, here we go. Um, I'm writing to clear your performance to KSI track. He told me to like email this person back and sign something. Would you be happy to move forward on the- Come on, internet, basis? stop um, doing this. Means I would be given- my internet is literally like pissing me off, but let's see if I can pause it. And the option yeah, in case I to record a feature mm. on one of my tracks, similar duration as Earthquake or whatever, and then both features would be a grace of no growth. So yeah. How could you sit here and lie? I haven't made a cent off you. Ah! I haven't made a cent off that song. You don't sit here like, I paid you, bruv. Like, what are you saying? I'm so I mean, that sounds weird. That sounds weird because... I mean, I understand it because the thing is like, when Rice Gum, Rice Gum dropped the track, he was basically, um, you know, in beef with Eaton and KSI was dropping the diss track on Eaton. So yeah, it would be like kind of like, you know, a good thing for both of them to jump on and that time they were like literally great uh, with each other basically. So um, it would be great, but about getting paid, I don't know, they never literally spoken about it. now. Now I don't know like you know who's who's right and who's wrong about for example getting paid over here. Rascam said he didn't he didn't get paid, but KSI said he paid him. So I don't know, like it just sounds so weird right now. 
Maybe we should wait for, for KSI's uh, response and to see what KSI is going to say about this and then maybe KSI might have the receipt or something, you know, to prove that he, that Rice Camp got paid. That's literally what we're waiting for. I, I, I'm keeping it on it. It's stemming from the Logan Paul fight. Like I said, man, KSI, you can't send me a free ticket, bro. All right, Rice Gum. So apparently I am being petty because I unfollowed you on social media. But aren't you being petty as well since I didn't give you a ticket for the KSI Logan fight? What? No, I don't even care about the ticket, yo. What? I'm only bringing up the ticket to explain myself. I'm saying it's stemming from the Logan Paul fight. You're essentially mad at me because I sat on Logan's side instead of your side. So you feel like I backstabbed you. You feel like I betrayed you. You thought I was rooting for Logan and so that's why you unfollowed me, right? And so that's me defending myself. I'm like, bro, you can't send me a ticket. How can you be mad at me? for not rooting for you, if you didn't even send me it, like how can I even root for you if you didn't even send me it, like why are you even mad at me for? Like it makes no sense, like, I could've easily just went to this fight and just went home and then I would've saw him in maybe like a year or two and be like, yo what's up KSI? And then that's it, like we didn't, like why do you have to beef with me online? And to be honest, Rice Gum, you're fine. I should've found the time to get you a ticket for this fight. You know, it's not like I wasn't training. For the fuck. We know you were training, bro. That's why I didn't want to bother you and even ask you for the ticket. And I didn't even ask Logan either. Logan was training for the same fight, and I didn't even ask him either. But he sent me a ticket out the kind of as his heart. And am I supposed to not go? So that's why I went. Wait, hold up. So Rice Gum sent him a ticket, but I recently saw a video on TikTok. Um, while I was on Abby Rao's page, which is his ex-girlfriend, and he said. Like, Rice Gum said that he wanted KSI to win, even though Logan gave him a ticket. Yo, this, this sounds a lot, like, very confusing. Like, I don't know. Because, basically, someone gave you a ticket, you basically, like, you know, uh, rooting for them. So, if you were on KSI's side, why would you take the ticket? Come on, I'm pretty sure you had money to... You know, buy a ticket to go to that fight. Yeah, it's kind of shit because you and KSI is like we're like you know we're like very good. We're literally like you know very good, uh, very good friends. We can say, but it's like, yeah, I understand that. Like, yeah, you were on Logan's side, so you get to get the best views. If if Logan gives you the ticket, and obviously, yeah, if you had to buy like a random ticket, you would have been I don't know maybe sitting somewhere very far, but you want to be very close, obviously because. You know he's a he's a huge YouTuber, so you know he wants to be on the stands, like literally, like not on the stands, like but literally right behind the uh, the ring. I get it though. Here's actually the reaction of me getting the ticket, and like I was so neutral. Right, so, I got a I got a gift for you, bro. Oh, Yo, so and I no, I he he's, he wasn't actually Logan Paul who went to him to give him the ticket. It was right. Mike. Last year, you know what I mean. I was friends with KSI and stuff, but he didn't give me no free ticket to That's the right. fight. You know? Hey, those tickets are expensive, bro. You know? Real expensive. You got Come on, I'm pretty sure it's not that expensive for you that you could not afford it, though. Good. You could bro. afford it, though. You got, bro. They're both hungry, and I don't want to make like the wrong guess. It's probably gonna be a draw again. Like, yeah, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, there's a clip. Yeah, so yeah. At this time, he was unbiased. He was unbiased. He didn't. He obviously wanted to say KSI, but since Logan gave him a ticket, he didn't want to say that. You know. Oh, I get it. I get it. He's quite smart on this one. Oh yeah, exactly. This is the video. This is exactly the video that I was talking about that I saw on Abby's uh, on Abby's Instagram. I still don't know how she has it. She deleted every picture with Rice, I think, on Instagram, but she still have this TikTok on. You've been dissing me. <laughs> You've literally been dissing me in your music. This is on your the adult song. Where is it at? He say he pop it. Oh yeah. Where is his plaques? Someone should tell him he trash. I mean, who else you talking to? I've made a song called Poppin. This song came out a week after Poppin. Also, uh, yeah, this is gonna sound really crazy, but that wasn't about you. I swear, I put it, yo, I swear that wasn't about you. No? No? That's, nah, yeah, I don't believe it. It's crazy, but it wasn't. These are my producers, December 8th. This was when we even made the song. It was this one. It's how is baby, because it was a, the baby type beat. And then that's why we made it the adult to just, uh, anyway, how could I diss you in April if we wrote the song in December? Here's another proof. So at the time the song was called 194 and this was 
was 20 21st of December. I was sending this to my management. Where is it at? He said he popped up. Where is his black? Someone should tell him he tried. Bet you know that. I don't know. It sounds very sketchy, bro. It sounds very sketchy. I, I yes, don't know. But this was in December. Like, I hope you guys believe me. I wouldn't just Photoshop or lie about it. Like, if I'm dissing someone, I wouldn't back up as soon as they find out. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I diss them and they find out, they're good. Like, yeah, but this line wasn't even about him. People say if the shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> the shoe fits, wear this it. Slap. This slap. Like, we, we wasn't even talking about him. Like, I was just rapping that in general. We were in the studio just rapping that and so he just felt that I guess because he doesn't have a you know a, a platinum plaque in the first year we get a platinum plaque the more I think about this I just... but he got a number two world album now though just saying just saying for YouTube history. I, mean, I just went through it with you guys it was the logo thing and then it was the rap thing it all resulted in him and following me but that's the thing I'm not I'm not you know if he was just if he didn't have a reason, cool. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have got it. Everybody was like literally streaming the album nonstop. Everybody was sharing it. His friends, like literally everybody that knew him, basically was streaming. So maybe that's why he got it, though. I have to. I have to speak the truth over here, like literally right here. Because if it wasn't for him to become bold, I'm pretty sure that maybe he wouldn't have gotten number two. At least I. I have to say it. I have to say it. I'm a huge case. I support it, but I have to say it. On everything. Him deleting our hit music video that did super good. He deleted the whole thing. Drops not one video on me, but two videos on me. What's my exit of video to like troll me? Exactly. He also saw his deluxe album, and before the song dropped, he would tweet at me. It said it was titled Untitled Rice Day. Hold on, what's happening? Ah, oh, shit, my. Oh, I'm mad. All right, sorry guys, I had to switch headphones because you no, know, the other one battery just died, so I need to like. You know, I had I had to change it, but you know what? Let's 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 get let's get let's continue. And before the song dropped, people tweeted at me. It said it was titled "Untitled Rice This." And then when the song dropped, it was a song featuring Rich the Kid, and that was like a diss at me because Rich the Kid was in my Twitter header. But like, exactly, was that all really necessary. Like that was kind of like over the top. Like yeah, like I didn't like I didn't even really do nothing like that. And then I said one more thing. Kim Song was like stirring up drama, bro. He was asking me questions, setting me up. He asked me. <laughs> it's called like his side, Kim Song. I know, oh my god. Obviously, I'm like gonna have to believe in myself. If I don't believe in myself, who else? I'm gonna be confident in myself. That's I true. Say, yeah. That's true. You gotta have the confidence, yo. You gotta have the confidence. Like, the thing is, like, you know, come on, you're not gonna say that, you know, someone, you're not gonna be like, you know, uh, how can I put this? Like, you need to have that self confidence. If you if you wanna be good, if you like, if you do something, you on your on your mind, you have to be self confident. They're like, you know, I do I do this better than everyone. It doesn't matter what other people say. You know what I'm saying? So you have to you obviously like, you know, for me, for example, I think I'm the biggest YouTuber on this platform. I'm the biggest reaction channel. I have the biggest reaction channel on this platform. I just don't have the enough clout, obviously, because you know I'm just starting now. Like, you know. Everybody has their own opinion. Yes, I said it. I don't care. I said it. I said that I have the best reaction channel on this platform. It doesn't matter what other people say. It doesn't matter if I don't have the if I don't have like, you know, a lot of subscribers or a lot of views. Obviously, I need to have that self-confidence, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, I make better music than that. KSI got offended and this led him to his next segment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the KSI Vicegum 10 for 10 hit song. Now this next part is so cringe. It's the most mm. biased thing ever. You would play his song and get so excited. <laughs> and they would play my song and do this. I get it though. I get it. Bro, I get it I though. I have ten songs. I think I have like eight, seven songs. KSI got. I, I, I can't even count. But I was scrolling through them. It's like thirty to forty songs. So you have way more songs than me. Honestly, you just recently now started making like better professional, better music. So stop acting like you've been nice. And you're just so biased when you're rating the music. Let's get an unbiased point of view. This guy is your friend. His name is Quadecti. He's a YouTube rapper. He made a YouTube rapper. Mmm. I don't think. I don't think you're right. Right there though. I don't think, like, you know, um, KSI's friends, like, we can say, like, you know, a close friend with uh, 
Kodaka. I don't think like they had they had their beef. They squashed the beef, but I don't think they're like, you know, friends friends, you know. So in this point, I don't think you can literally put anyone between them. Banks, I don't think Banks would be. Banks Banks like literally like homie with him and KSI, but I don't think Banks would be. KSI uh Kim Star, mm -mm, I don't think Kim Star would be. So like he would be he would be just crazy. I don't know. Bro, tell me why he put me above you. I should be in the S tier, but I'll mm. let this one slide. At least I'm on top of you. That's one victory in my book. <laughs> These guys are Z's. They actually react to hip hop and rap all the time. They actually reacted to our song Earthquake, and here are the reactions. Ah, Z's. But you're not ready. But did you forget that you didn't write that song? That's the problem. You didn't write that one, bro. Guess I made his verse, you didn't. I'm sorry. You didn't write that one, bro. I'm sorry. You performed there, you was in the music video, you sang it, or you rapped about everything, but you didn't write that song. And Zia's literally has been in your crib. Zs has been obviously Zs would be like on your side on this one, and not on KSI side obviously because Zs doesn't know KSI. Maybe Zs fucks with no Zs know him. I don't know if they ever spoken, but Zs you know he's been buddies with him with with you. I mean. In conclusion, I'm gonna drop a few more DMs because we were kind of decent friends, and he just dropped me out of nowhere, man. And so he said, "Yo, do you do features in 2017?" I said, "With you only." He said, "Ha ha, I got it." So like, he asked me, and we were already flirting, had a bromance going on. It was chill. Switching to my phone. These texts are on my MacBook because I didn't save it on my phone. But this was after his first fight, not the one with Logan, the other one with Joe Weller. I said, "Proud of you. You a star." He said, thank you, watch your vid, you kill me, congrats on the Super Bowl ad. But then he hit me out of nowhere like, yo, this year we have a football match in England for charity, would you? Oh, yeah. I this one at the point that they were literally at their peak. Like, they were literally like, you know, best buddies or something like that. At that point, KSI literally said that he was about to join uh, Cloud Gang at this point. Like, literally, he was about to join... Clocking. He said, yeah, put me in. He said, so we need you to be 100% confirmed to come over, yada, yada, yada. What are you saying? I said, so I was kind of stalling on him, guys. He was asking me to go to this charity thing, but I kept stalling on him. What are you saying, fam? Just give me a straight answer. Don't air me out. And then I finally said, sure. He really asked me for two favors. First, the feature I did. Second, this charity event, which I had to fly 13 hours for England for. Like, I usually travel and get paid. I was just flying there out in the kindness of my heart. I was doing it for KSI. You guys saw me. I kept kind of like stalling because I was like, I don't know if I want to take like a, like three days out of my day, jet lag and all that. I ended up doing it just for literally nothing. I come there just to get tripped. His freaking UK friend literally purposely <laughs> tripped me. That's such a Oh yeah, that was Willany. Willany Willany had did no. It wasn't Willany. Carlos had beef with him. Harry had beef with him. But Willany I don't think they had I don't remember if they had beef with him or not. At the time it's all funny games, you laugh it over, but now I'm thinking back like I came out there just to get tripped that hurt guys so i went out of my way for you two times just for what just for you to unfollow me and do all these things i don't know i just think it's really unfair and i don't even know what i expect you know kansa has never been loyal why would i expect him to be loyal to me when he literally isn't even loyal to his family you guys know family is number one you should all oh he had to go there he had to go. oh my yo I feel like now the diss track is literally about to about to pop off. Literally, the diss track is about to pop family, off. But KSI, literally, I'm not sure if him and his family. Are yep, not. yep. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. It's coming. It's coming. Get ready, guys. It's coming. Terms now, but there was a period of time when him and his brother and his mom and his dad were beefing. They were all. Mm, like, okay, it had to go there. Family, it had to go there. Oh my god. So that's why he's not even loyal to me. He just literally. I was it had to nice go there. To him, and out of nowhere, he just wants to beef with me. I don't know. It might just be a huge misunderstanding, but I think he's just beefing with me, causing controversy to promote his album. He is just ruining our friendship, burning the bridge just to promote his album. That's what it seems like. Hold on, so why did you come with this video just now that you know his album is literally popping so he's basically popping everywhere as well? Hmm? Shit, it feels like I'm being biased, but you know nah, I'm, I'm like I'm not being completely like a hundred percent biased. I literally I've literally like said something about KSI as well. So so like you know like, oh so my god. Is, man. Don't know what I expect. 
respect for him. Axe is a feeble hoodie. Shout out my boy Keenan. We, you know, we came together and made this little clothing brand. People always think we're the bad guys and we're evil. So, you know, we dropped a little merch. Link in the description. Guys, make sure you drop a like. Jesus. And, um, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, God. Yep. It's, li it's, li it's about to happen. It's literally about to happen. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. It's about to happen, bro. It's about to happen. This huge... Oh, man. Man, bro. He had to go to this family. He had to hit the shots on the family. Where it basically hurts the most. Oh, my days. You know what? Let's see what's going to happen now. For, like, you know, literally on and forwards. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below to any to who you think is on the right, who you think is on the wrong. Which side do you got? And yeah, and let me know. Do you think the distract the distract war is gonna is gonna is gonna pop off? If you do so, let me know. And yeah, without further ado, your boys out. Take it easy and peace.